it worked very, very well for four years. And then our ability to, um, a component on the spacecraft broke that destroyed our ability to keep it aimed at that part of the sky very carefully. Yep. Um, so we what ended up with only again? forwards. So those, those are called reaction wheels. Reaction wheels. There's there's what's four, used to steer four, the spacecraft. There were four of them. Mm -hmm. There were four. And, okay. we en and we ended up having two break on us. In 2013, two broke. Uh, well, one broke in 2012, and then the second one broke in 2013, to be exact. And then you were still <coughs> able to, from that point, continue. Well, that, 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 what we were not able to do was continue looking at the same part of the sky. Okay. We were not able to. So okay. that data collection ended. Okay. Um, and so that's was, what we call the Kepler Prime mission. That was a Kepler Prime, and then that mm -hmm. was about four years mm -hmm. of, of the 150,000 star that's patch. Right. That's and right. then did you look somewhere else for the next well, period so, of time? So we thought, of course, in 2013, when, the, when, when we lost the ability to point accurately, we thought, oh my god, it's over. That's it. But then, we, but then people said, well, but you still have two of these reaction wheels, mm -hmm. which can help you, help you uh, aim in you know, two ways. The problem is you have to control your attitude in space in three dimensions, right? Mm -hmm. and, but with two, uh, two reaction wheels, you can only do two. So, hmm. OK, well, the people who built the spacecraft at Ball Aerospace, they thought long and hard about this problem. And after a couple months, they came up with the, this absolutely crazy sounding scheme. Which is what they do said is they said, hey, you know what? If we point in the direction of the orbit or opposite the direction of the orbit, either way works. If we point the spacecraft in the direction of the orbit, we can actually balance the solar light pressure. So light from the sun exerts oh, pressure. Wow. We can actually balance <coughs> the spacecraft. We can balance the telescope using the solar light pressure so long as we're pointed in the direction of the orbit or opposite the direction of the orbit, because it's sort of one big tube. Mm -hmm. Um, and so they came up with a scheme wow. to, to use the light pressure from the sun to substitute for one of the reaction wheels. Oh my god. Um, and then we use the other two reaction wheels to keep it pointed exactly where we want and then let and, and then and then there's just a tiny bit of roll. Um, mm -hmm. And then what we do is we use the actual thrusters on the spacecraft to control the roll yeah. uh, by firing the thrusters and every you six only or twelve hours. Had a little bit of you have a limited amount of thruster capacity, so every six to twelve hours for mm -hmm. only a couple what years was oh no it's still going yeah, uh, yeah we started we started this mode in late 2013 um and it's still going no way yeah absolutely no way it's been five years it's been running five years in this mode it's what holy we, cow it's what we call the k2 mission the k2 so we gave mission it a different now. name because yeah. it's a totally different concept unfortunately it can't just pick one star part of the sky and stare for four years it can't yeah, do yeah, that because yeah. as you orbit the sun you know, you got to keep pointing in the direction of the orbit. Yeah, yeah. But but the ball guys were really clever. They came up with a way to keep us looking at one spot for as much as 90 days at a time. 90 days, 90 days. at a time. And, and, then, and then you turn. What? Look and at the next thing in 90 days, days at a time. You turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. So now, yeah. so it's so interesting because we go up with the intention to look at one patch. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, there's a solution. Thank mm -hmm. goodness humans, the advanced Is monkeys, this, figured this out. This, the, the we're now looking 90 days at a time in a new patch. Right. Every, every time is a new patch? Or are we looking? Yeah, at well, uh, uh, we, we've been, we're a little opportunistic. What we do is we say we can look sort of that direction. And, and the, the difference with the K2 mission is we no longer think of it as just planet finding. We think of it as a general astronomy observation mission. And so what we do yeah. is we say, hey, we can kind of look in this direction. And we ask the astronomers in the world, what would, what's in that direction that you'd like to look at? And we find, mm. we find a particular direction to point that catches as many of people to astronomers' desires as we can. Mm -hmm. So we'll look at that patch for a while. And then we'll ask the same question over in that direction and look at that. And so sometimes when we come back around, we'll look at the same patch because okay, we still cool. want to look at it. Cool. And sometimes we'll look slightly differently. Awesome. <clears throat> and so that's been five years that's of been doing five that. Years. 